All this week, we're getting you ready for hurricane season, which starts tomorrow. That's right. Tonight, we're looking at how prepared we are in New England. WBZ meteorologist Eric Fisher joins us now. And Eric, we don't see many hurricanes here, at least direct hits, but we do need to be ready. Yeah, you know, time eventually will run out on us. We've had so much good luck in recent years when it comes to direct strikes. But from the wind and the storm surge, our coastline here in southern New England is very vulnerable to hurricanes. As WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff shows us, cities and towns all along the coastline think they're they're prepared. Hurricane Bob is etched in the history books for southern New England. Hurricane Bob pounds Massachusetts with winds topping 100 miles an hour. The destruction still vivid to Wareham resident Doreen Phillips, who kept a newspaper from the days after the Category 1 storm. So Hurricane Bob in the eye of the storm. Do you remember seeing scenes like this? I remember in the schoolyard, uh, the playground yard over there, um, they had Piles of boats, just boats that were unclaimed. My house saw yes. the surge mostly. Okay. Again, six inches in the house. And, okay. And then in and out really quick, like Terry said, just enough to cause havoc. We've been kind of lucky, if we can call it that. Very lucky. Joe Deli Carpini is a meteorologist for the National Weather Service office in Norton. He says we're in the midst of a remarkable hurricane drought for our area. A lot of people have been lulled into a kind of a false sense of security. Most people who, who live here now have not experienced a landfalling hurricane. As a forecaster, what would sort of keep you up at night? It's the hurricane, no question. Um, you know, we have nor'easters all the time in the winter. People are acclimated. They know what to do. The hurricane, like, like I said, it's been over 30 years. Historically speaking, southern New England averages a hurricane landfall once every 12 years or so. Major hurricanes, those hit every 60 years. We have to look back to 1954's Hurricane Carol for the last major hurricane for us. We are way overdue. That's a major hurricane, category three or higher. Uh, you know, to me, that would be devastating, and it's a scary thing to think about. For their part, the National Weather Service prepares each and every spring, like it could be the year for the next big one, including bringing new data to communities where storm surge is a concern. Evacuation zones are based on that modeling. Andy Nash is the meteorologist in charge at NWS Norton. He gave WBZ a first-hand look at some of these tools. The slosh model is, is taking all of potential hurricane tracks, hurricane intensities, speeds, everything about a hurricane, and just having thousands of, of hurricanes hit, hit a coastline. And with each of those models, you figure out what would be the potential surge. Figuring out that potential flooding is very important. Nearly half of all hurricane deaths are from storm surge. Are there any places like Buzzards Bay, Narragansett Bay, Cape Cod, that are especially vulnerable? It's all over because of the geography. Everywhere here along the bay and, and the inlets, that's going to accentuate that, that surge. It funnels potential. It's, it, it's, a, big, it's yeah. a big funnel, exactly. Climate change is setting up coastal communities like Wareham up for a disaster. Even on sunny days, the astronomical high tide can add minor coastal inundation. But add in a category one storm and you're talking about five to six feet of storm surge. A major category three storm, everything you see right now could be underwater. If the tides and the wind line up just right, um, we have streets that go underwater. We have um, areas in town where the water and the waves are splashing at the back of people's homes. So anything that deals with the, the perfect scenario or that, that perfect storm, so to speak, um, would be devastating. Patrick McDonald is the emergency management director for Wareham. You think you guys are ready? I think so, absolutely. As much as you can prepare for something like that. Governor Maura Healy echoes that sentiment. On the state side, it is our responsibility to make sure that we are taking steps to be prepared. Still, as Doreen Phillips says, there's only so much we can do. And look, you do what you can, and then you're in the hands of God. Mm. You see scenes like this. That's, how can you stop that? In Wareham, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.